Yeah, they are the best side we played, and they will do well. But I think, as I've said to the lads, we can't we can't look at them and compare ourselves to them. We have to compare, look at ourselves and where we are. And we don't think um, we're, we're where we need, we should be. I think um, I don't want to sound like a broken record because we do this every week, and every week I'm saying it's it will take time. But the fact of the matter is, we are a long way into this now, and um, there's there's some things that have that are not improving and um, the game today was won in a probably 20 minute spell where we had a couple of chances with Cobby and Bakes and then they had a couple and, and they go 2-0 they go up and when it's 2-0 then they can go and defend the game. Um, anybody would say we were better second half than we were first half but then they dropped off and let us play so that we're going to be better. You know when it was difficult first half and when they were putting pressure on us we resorted to to a long ball game that is not what I'm asking the lads to do or not what they want to do. And it's frustrating because we're finding, you know, we're working hard at keeping the ball, in training we're keeping the ball well, and we get on the pitch, come under pressure and we go direct. And if you look at the side we've got, we're not built to play that way. It's not the only issue all over the pitch. I don't think we hit enough tackles. Um, I'm not suggesting that they don't, that it doesn't hurt them like it does for me, or they don't want it like I want it. But some players, they're not tacklers and then you know at the end of the day we <laughs> when we have possession of the football there's people snapping our heels when they have possession of the football at times they let we let them have it too easy so there's lots of things that um, I'm not happy with there is positives if you look at the in, ter in terms of today's game but the fact is it's a results you know it's all about results and the last three games will sum it up for a deep and long period we played well but we lost 3-1 today second half played well but we've lost 2-0 in between that, we had a pretty poor performance last week in terms of our football, but we won the game. And a lot of that is down to the opposition. I'm not going to take it away from, from Leicester Nevada. They're, they're a good side. They will undoubtedly be up there. But we can't judge ourselves on them. We can't focus on them because there's nothing we can do about it. I felt for 20 minutes we were poor. They go, they get the two goals and then they're able to sit in and defend it. I think if we get a goal second half, it might make a different game. 2-0 is that kind of scoreline. Um, but I don't want our second half performance to mask the issues that we've got in there. I'm not going to, yes we did well when they set up and let us play, but we're going to because we've got players who can play. It's maybe the ugly side of the game that we need to get a little bit better at. Yeah, um, Dex no longer with the club. Um, we had a chat last night, um, obviously he was a big signing for us. Um, Undoubtedly, he's a very good player, and um, his record proves that what, what he's capable of at this level. Um, unfortunately, in the role we were playing him, we weren't getting in the ball, weren't keeping it well enough. Uh, we changed the shape today to, to accommodate three in the middle of midfield, which meant he wasn't obviously uh, in the side. Um, and, and we felt going forward, you know, if, you, if you've got that type of player that they want and expect to play every week, and the fact of the matter is, we've got a lot of good players. So after the conversation, we kind of felt. Uh, it was best that he, he, he looks he looks for another club um, and he you know at the end of the day I'm not going to knock what he's done here yeah his attitude's been good around uh, the training the place and he's uh, you know he's been involved he scored three goals and you know including probably the goal of the season but the fact of the matter is um, we have to look you know I said at the beginning of the season give us some time be patient but I understand that uh, you can only be patient for so long without a change. You can't keep doing it, you can't be stubborn. We've changed shape a little bit to probably try and affect midfield a little bit more today and that's affected Dex's role in the, in the side. And, and when you bring somebody in to play a certain role and that role is no longer there, you kind of have to review that situation. Yeah, pleased again we haven't got uh, a midweek game because there's obviously lots to work on. Um, it's a difficult place to go. Uh, they are a regular top six side and they play quite well at home. Um, you know, again, to sound like a broken record, but we, we, we've got to start making improvement. And it's about results now, I think. As I, as I said, you know, the, the last three games, the better footballing performances have come in two games we've lost. And football's, the game's not all about playing football, it's, it's about getting results. And if we're not careful, we will fall behind that top group. I've said we have to be realistic and you know our aim wasn't to be top at Christmas but it was to be in touch at Christmas and if we keep losing games we won't be. So um, it's important we get a result next week and you know hopefully I'm standing here after the game and I can talk about a result and a performance but 
but ultimately it's the result we need because we need to stay in touch with the sides like Leicester. They've started the season well, you know, they've five wins and a, and a draw, and they're a good side. So you know, they, but you know, if, if that's the type of side at the top of the table, we we have to keep in contact with them. Um, and, and to be fair, you know, it's. Um, it's hard standing and saying the same things, and, and I know I'm, I'm doing that over the last few weeks. Um, what I would say, um, from supporters' point of view, I know a lot was said about supporters leaving, potentially at Deepin and all those things. But at the end of the day, when that third goal goes in against Deepin, I feel like walking off because you, you know, you're in a game, you've put a lot in, and you've lost three-one. And it's hard to watch this at the minute. It's hard for people to keep coming through the gate, and the results aren't there. It's hard when things aren't going great. And like I said today, maybe we take our two chances and we go 2-0 up or, or the goal gets flagged offside, it might be a different game. Um, but I feel, you know, at the end of the day, uh, the sports are being patient and, um, and, and, and we've got to start repaying that. I don't, I'm not a believer in supporters come through the door to get us going. We need to get supporters going and we're not doing that at the minute. We're not starting quick enough. Um, so it is a patience game. It's, it's a, like I keep saying it, but I, I do believe there's elements of our game are getting better. There are elements that aren't improving, and we will make changes in that. Uh, I'm not going to just keep, you know, I'm not burying my head in the sand. I'm not going to say it will happen. We have to make it happen, and um, and hopefully when it does start to happen, we'll still be in touch, and we can play the type of football that supporters can enjoy and be proud of and get the results that they, that they deserve.